how to make a menu fast. Well, first, we need a GUI object created through the Create menu. Now click Screen GUI, and that object will be inserted into the world. Throughout the video, I'll be using this menu to create various objects, like I just did with this GUI object. Keeping that in mind, let's make a few menus, just as a demonstration. Skip ahead if you don't wish to see the designing phase. We're going to start off by creating a frame. This will be our first menu. We're going to add a text to it so that you can tell the difference between the different menus. Now we're going to round off the corners and add a little stroke around it to make it stand out from the background. This will be our menus, so let's clone it, rename it, and recolor it so that we can have two menus to switch between. Now for the buttons, I'll create another screen GUI object. I will create a frame, the size that I want the buttons to be at, position it, and make it transparent. To make the buttons line up, we'll add the UI list layout object. This will take all the GUI objects within the same parent as itself and make them line up either horizontally or vertically, depending on the settings. For the buttons themselves, I'll insert a text button object and just do all the same steps I did for the menu, but with the button instead. Now cloning it, renaming it, and recoloring it, it's ready to be coded. Coding it is going to be super simple. First, create a local script in starter player scripts, then rename it so that you won't lose it later. I've named mine menu handler. Get rid of the prior code and then make a few variables. The objects we're going to need is the menu GUI and the button GUI. We need one dynamic variable, and that will be which menu is currently being displayed. We will name it current menu. Now, we need a function. I'll name it toggle menu, and then you can guess what that does. Before making any code for toggling the menu, I'll add this code right here to trigger the function every time the buttons are pressed. Now, inside the toggle menu function, we need to check if the current menu equals the menu we're trying to switch to. If that is the case, just close down the menu and you're done with it. If that is not the case, however, we'd like to open the menu and register it as the current menu, as I once again showed here. Now, I made a few mistakes, so I did some debugging and I fixed the issue by adding wait for child on these two variables and changing the for loop so that it actually can find the buttons that we're looking for. To end it all off, I made it so that if a menu is already open, it closes that one down before opening up a new one. And that's it! That's the menu system. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comment section. Bye!